Uh, Pete, just for your own sake, before you say anything tonight, text one of us what you're going to say and get one of us to okay it before <laughs> you start blurting shit out. Okay. Just for your sake, man. Just for your sake, bro. You're saying crazy shit right now. So actually, Let's I like the last just, episode. Just let movie. loose, man. Let loose. Yeah. yeah. Actually, why don't you go ahead and host this one? <laughs> All right, I got that. What are you What are you drinking right now? Water. Uh, yeah, just vodka. Straight, That's water. Straight, straight vodka. Straight vodka. Yeah. Straight vodka. He's going to be yeah. speaking in Russian by the time we're done. Bathtub Welcome gin. to the All Pop No Culture podcast. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he took me seriously. <laughs> he, re- he really is yeah. out of control. Yeah. But, all right. Take about let's, 20% let's get... off there, Chief. <laughs> 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 oh, no, man. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> all right. Um, this is why I don't drink. That's the name of the episode right there. <laughs> this is why I don't. I don't. We haven't even recorded it yet, and already we know that, that <laughs> is the, that's the name of the episode. That's the theme of this episode for sure. Yeah, here we go. Welcome to the All Pop No Culture <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> I'm your host, Aiki. I'm joined as always by Kevin. Hello. Alex. Greetings. David. Hello. And Peter. Hello. All right. <laughs> this Good week, uh, this week up, we are bitch? going to uh, oh boy. do all we can <laughs> to, uh, to to pull attention away from Pete. Um, he's had uh, he's had a drink or two. Because it is his youngest birthday today, and so that's what you do. You go out and just you know, party it. They can't drink yet, so you do the drinking for them. Yeah. So uh, this week, we are going to be talking about uh, the latest episode of The Falcon and the, and the Winter Soldier. So if you have not seen that, um, spoilers ahead. Uh, looks like four out of five of us have got a chance to go through another movie of our franchises so each week. We uh, recap one of the movies within a franchise that we're all assigned. Uh, David has the Daniel Craig 007s. He saw Quantum of Solace this week, so there will be a review of that. Pete has watched uh, the ter- or the Predator 2, and uh, we'll see if we get to that. Alex uh, <laughs> has watched uh, the second American Pie. Is that just American Pie 2? It's American it Pie 2. Yeah, there's no okay. subtitle or anything. And then uh, Kevin is almost through. He has one to go on the final destination, number four. So no, it's just am... the final destination. Oh, that's all it's called? Just the final destination? Really? Yeah. And then there's Oh, they got one? edgy with and it. And then there's a fifth one. Yeah, it's yeah. just like the rest of the series. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. So It's like Final <laughs> Fantasy, but they just keep making new ones. Right. Um, and so we will um, hear about that. And then, yes, yeah, so we have one more after that. And then... We have a uh, a Reddit list, or is there just a list we I saw? I think it's yeah. What Reddit. website was that from? Was it Reddit? Well, I got it from the news app, but um, oh, okay. I think it was. Uh, I think it, it mentioned like it's from Buzzfeed. A uh, Buzzfeed. Buzzfeed. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, Buzzfeed. Yeah. Anyway, saw a listing of the 19, 19 sequels that were better than the originals, and so we're gonna go through that and see if uh, if that is accurate or if they're full of shit. <laughs> so, starting off with news of the week or the, anything of news of the week, let's start with uh, Kevin. Anything this week that you've been watching um, worthwhile? Um, you know, there really, I, I, I would have sworn there was, and I, and I can't remember. Uh, but today I did watch a buttload of season two of uh, The Unicorn on CBS. I couldn't have, get through uh, that. Seen- not familiar oh, with, with that one. With uh, Walter or Walton, Wal- Walton oh, Goggins. Goggins. Yeah, I watch that. Yeah, I watch Goggins. that every week. That shows. That's a really fun show. Yeah, it's it's, it's See, good. Exactly. Uh, you know, if you like if you like sitcoms, it's good. Um, it just got too. It got too. Like it, I, I started paying attention to the surroundings and the and the like the set design and the costuming and stuff more than the story because I'm like uh, this. There's like no nowhere in life is everybody this 
put together or this situation or it's like it just took me out of reality <laughs> this I podcast mean, like, proof of that yeah it's just it, i don't know it was i, I like for me know, like, i like all the 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 actors and stuff too i like the cast i just didn't like the the way it was produced hmm. yeah, i don't have that problem um it it is for me like having followed walton goggins through several different shows uh yeah it's it's really cool to see him play something so you know straight man you know because he's been uh he showed up on um uh sons of anarchy as the cross yeah. Oh, yeah. uh you know he was in uh, justified as just a, a great like kind of anti-villain kind of character where he was he definitely was not the good guy and vice did principles. a lot of bad shit yeah, yeah vice, principles. vice principles oh fuck he's so great on that so um if nothing else it's a, it's a great um chance to see him do something that's just totally different than you yeah. usually see him do um he's also the and, villain in the uh in fat man the, I don't think the so. mel gibson santa claus movie huh. i have not I seen that. last year on, i think on netflix was that the you sequel to passion of the christ <laughs> no it was just a different telling different telling. oh i see yeah no, uh no it was uh that was on i he came out this last christmas but yeah it's, mel gibson plays santa claus and gogan's is uh is the villain in it but hmm. so yeah it's and it, it reunites uh rob cordry and um how was the black guy's name they, they were in um ballers together yeah uh and I, I, can't, oh. I can't remember his name, but Rob Cordry and his wife are probably actually the best part of that show. Yeah, um, I Unicorn. agree with you on that. She's hilarious. Like, she's so, like, nutty. Like, she's just so crazy. Um, and she, yeah, she's hilarious. Um, yeah, and I know I watched some other shit, and I just don't know what it was. And where no are you idea. watching this show, Kevin? Uh, it's on CBS. So uh, I have the CBS. No, you can't watch it on Hulu because it's CBS. Uh, I, I have the CBS Paramount Plus is their streaming service yeah. now. Uh, um, I, I, we must have, was it ever on Netflix? Nope. I don't you probably know watched watch it, it on then. CBS. You probably watched it on I, cable or maybe no. recorded it or something. They, don't, doesn't demand. CBS have a partnership through Hulu if you have like a cable subscription? If you have the full package, probably. If you have the yeah, $45 that, yeah. a month or whatever. Well, uh, but, also if you like sign in with your Comcast yeah like if you already have the channel through your oh uh, that's probably it then oh, and i do have basic cable yeah you used to be able to do that i don't know if you can do that with a cbs app anymore yeah, no, i don't know no, you can. now but you i think well, i know i watched it so no so you <laughs> still can that. it's just what you can what you can see is limited and mm -hmm. if you then and then oh yeah then it only shows you it. certain characters <laughs> No, I think they only <laughs> yeah. have like the most seven recent episodes, and they yeah, don't that's like a thing. That. Yeah, like yeah, even yeah. Uh, Superman and Lois went like that. Like episodes would disappear eventually if you didn't watch. Yeah, see the yeah. CW app is kind of shitty for that. But then it, well, they, I did it in Hulu, like Hulu, like CW. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So janky. Uh, yeah, I, I like to swear I had watched something else, another movie or something, but I really don't remember today. Which means I probably watched like 15 things. Yeah. Well, hey, if you remember later, let me. Know. I won't. I won't remember later. Okay, I'll remember that's tomorrow. That's like, like shit. I was attitude. supposed to talk about these nine things. But all righty. Well, uh, then. Oh no, no, no I, I do remember. Uh, I do oh, remember. Oh, yeah. I knew you were uh, gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I watched uh, season two of Servant uh, from Apple TV Plus. Oh, the M Night Shyamalan. The M Night one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did he do that one as well? Does he does he direct yeah, them or yeah, does it's, he it's write still, it or I don't know what his deal in it, but I can tell you it's a weird fucking show, man. That's why that's it's, all I've ever heard about it. Is that yeah, weird? the first season was pretty good. Um and but it took a while to get going. And the same thing with the second one. The second season, I was a little bored for a little while. Um and and I wasn't sure what was going on. And then the last like four episodes, it really kind of ramps up and you start mm like trying to figure out what's going on but it, it is definitely a very 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 bizarre show um to the point where i'm never like even when it's over i'm not really 100 percent sure what's happening uh you know through the end of either season uh, but in, in its own weird way it's still an 
interesting show. Like it's still a good show. It's 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 a good watch. Um, it's just strange. It's it's very very strange. Um, if you're not a fan of, I don't know. It's, I wouldn't call it horror because there's nothing that's like blatantly scary about it. But if you're not a fan of that weird kind of almost horror, um, like psych maybe, thriller type. Yeah, maybe closer to um, what, what was the was it um, uh, what was the one with the with uh, with with the black kid where he's in the all white community? Oh, get out! Um, get yeah, out. get out! Um, it's maybe as creepy as that, huh. you know, in, in its own way. Um, that's probably the closest thing I can compare it to because I wouldn't like, necessarily call that horror, although the psychological aspect of it is a little yeah, more like suspense uh, thriller. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's, it's just fucking weird and uh, but it, it doesn't it's a little more cerebral than some of M. Night's other stuff and it doesn't have the the huge twist that you're looking for although there's some there's just weird stuff going on so uh, but if that's your if that's your genre it's it's a pretty good show all right are all the episodes out or is it just a few yes or? okay yes all the episodes are out now i can't remember if they were doing them um by week or not when it dropped because i waited so long to watch it um mm. but uh but yeah the, now everything's out so okay yeah that was one of the shows that launched with the service it mm-hmm. was along with morning show it was very and... shortly after it launched i don't yeah. think it was like right at the beginning but yeah it was near the beginning for sure yeah the other one i need to watch that i haven't got around to is for all mankind i watched season one of that and that was oh, pretty yeah. good but season two yeah i haven't seen that, yet. that one. yeah yeah, the first season, the first season was good. I like that a lot. Um, that one was interesting. All righty then. Uh, now I'm nothing... done. Yeah, thank you. Finally. Probably. Oh wait, D- no, I'm just kidding. David, is there anything this week that you've watched that you would like to share <laughs> with the group? Uh, yes, um, I watched the uh, Hulu original film Boss Fight um, mm. because I was feeling brave. Boss um, Fight. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> They, uh, they, they is it this... is it what it looked like from the trailer? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty okay. pretty much exactly what it looked. Well, like. that's what the trailer's for, dumbass. No, but you know, like a, like a, <laughs> sometimes you, sometimes you see a trailer and you're like, oh, I expect a lot more from this movie than what I see the trailer. Like, uh, like you know, you expect the, the the background story to be really. This is it's an action movie, and it just looks like a dumb action movie. And <laughs> it was a dumb action movie. It stars. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, Frank Grillo. Um, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. He was uh, Crossbones. Crossbones. In, uh, yeah. And he, um, he's basically in your standard uh, temporal loop. So he oh. dies, <laughs> comes back to life, dies again. Live, die, repeat. Life, live, die, repeat, right? Same. Groundhog's same Day. On that. Yeah, all of that. That one and, um, movie with it's, Andy Samberg. It's pretty mm-hmm. entertaining. Yeah. Um, Palm you Springs. Know, he, That's he, the one. Palm Springs that, is great. Guys. Yeah, Palm Springs. Palm Springs was a much better film than this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it does, it, it's got some crazy people in it. Mel Gibson's the bad guy. Um, <laughs> Naomi Watts plays the love interest. Um, Will sure. Sasso is like the head of security and is doing like this really terrible deep voice the entire time, which is just fucking funny. <laughs> It's hmm. so terrible. Okay. He's trying to be serious, and he's just <laughs> god awful. Um, who else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Or people you know that have a significant role. And uh, yeah, so basically, the plot of it is that he has to figure out why he's stuck in this loop, and he's got like this pile of assassins, very John Wick esque, all just coming at him from everywhere, trying to kill him. So slowly he starts to learn who they are and how to avoid them and yada, yada. And uh, then eventually he figures out his, the reason he needs to uh, do this and then fixes it. And, you know, everyone dies. Hmm. He wins. This is a movie. Yeah. It was entertaining. Look, I'm going to say like, if you've got an hour and a half, cause I think it was like really like a tight hour and a half. It was real short. There you go. You know 90 means. minutes. We know exactly Social what right that there. means. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you it's know, hour 34. Just, yeah. It's, you know uh, I've seen that movie. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fun. There's some fun shit in there. There's uh, one character named, uh, what's it? Zhang Yan, Zhang Yin, 
And every time she kills him with a sword, every time she kills him, she says, my name is Zhang Yin and Zhang Yin has done this. And she like does it in like this super formal way every time. And it's just funny every single time. Is it supposed to be funny? It's supposed to be funny. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, like... it's just, yeah, it's set up to be a laugh moment and, mm -hmm. and, it, and it hits. So I would say, you know, if you want something dumb and fun, I would recommend it. It was, it was fun. I was entertained. I will probably watch it again someday when I'm really bored. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I'm sure Pete will watch it before he ever gets around to Breaking Bad. He's probably watching it right now. Probably. <laughs> uh, I almost did. Um, uh, and all then, right. Uh, I also uh, finally got around to seeing uh, Tenet, which I'm not sure if any oh. of you all talked about on the show. No, I haven't. We seen haven't. It. I, I, I saw some of it on my flight back from Florida, but I was doing. I was listening to. <laughs> I was listening well, to our that... podcast, so I had the video on, but I didn't want. Didn't have the audio on, so. I don't know. What's an effective happened. way to watch a movie for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah not that movie. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that movie. Um, um, yeah. So I will, I will say this, like you, if you go into that film willing to accept whatever they tell you, you nope. can enjoy the film. Nope. If you try and make it make logical sense, you will detest this film because it isn't anywhere close to making logical sense. Okay, so right there, that that's that's Godzilla versus Kong. You just described Godzilla versus Kong the same way. Movie yeah. makes perfect sense. And if you go into it, <laughs> what they tell you, you can have fun with it. And this is the same thing. Like uh, usually, I feel like Christopher Nolan does a really nice job of you kind of go, okay, I can I can believe that, right? You can wrap your head around it and 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 yeah. go along with him. This one, you just can't. You okay. like any way you break it down it just doesn't work um, See, is it because he's like trying to be obtuse for obtuse's sake and it just doesn't no, it's, it's just he's got i don't know the the premise of the film is that there's two timelines running forwards and backwards and so they will literally interact with characters who are moving in backwards in time mm. bullets jump from the walls into the gun yeah i've seen some of that stuff in the trailers yeah so that's the premise of the film. But when you get down to the physics of how it works and how they, like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. You just have to go, okay, nod and say yes when they say that something happens that way. Is it streaming free anywhere yet? Or is it, are you still paying I, for I it? I don't know, to be honest. I thought it was on HBO or something, but I can't remember. It might be on no, HBO. I watched I, it. I, on I don't think not yet. I, I, at least I haven't seen it on there yet. Yeah, I just wondered it was somewhere free because I was gonna watch it, like watch it, watch it, mm -hmm. um, and I just I haven't yet. It was fun. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching it. I wouldn't like rush out to see it again. I'd probably watch boss boss fight before I would watch this again. <laughs> Where did you watch Ouch, it? Man. Ouch, man! I watched it on uh, on on Vudu. Oh, okay. I share a Vudu account with a guy who's got like three thousand movies, so nice he has nearly everything i i rarely have to find anything i just go to his voodoo account and there it is and um yeah so uh good not there's way better christopher nolan movies out there it looks yeah. like it's not coming to hbo acting, acting was top notch dude the guy um i can never remember his name robert pattinson no not robert pattinson <laughs> No, Denzel Washington's son. Oh, John David. John Washington. David Washington. Yeah, that dude is good. He's Jinx good. Is that who that is? I had no idea. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, he's actually he's really cool in Ballers too. Yeah, oh, I loved really him in Ballers. I've loved him in everything I've seen him. In. I think he's fantastic. I like him as an actor. I think I've only seen him in Black Klansman so far. Yeah, he's oh, great. Right. Black right. Klansman. Um, but yeah, it looks like they have the trailer for it on HBO, so that usually means it's coming soon. Yeah, cool. so I would say watch it. You know, I'd love to hear what you guys thought about it as well. Okay, and, uh, okay. Anything else? No, I think I'm. I think I'm done. All right, um, Alex. Anything from you? Uh, yeah, just uh, not much. But Sam and I are still plowing through Letter Kenny. We're on the last season now. Only have like a couple of episodes left. Yeah, um, still feel the same way. I mean, I love that show, but just like her, the the potty humor gets a little dull at times. And 
yeah just kind of like move on move on Mm, um but still a great show and um because of our conversation last which i think was pre-show unfortunately but we were talking about all the different rides at disney world and stuff like that but i had the uh the notion to rewatch avatar which i haven't seen in Mm. very long time and i always i always liked avatar like i know a lot of people don't like it because it's super derivative and whatever 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 but i always enjoyed it and um I still do like I like watching it again. It's not the best movie in the world. I, I'm not really sure how it's the number one movie of all time or whatever it is, but in the box it was office, 3D. Yeah, because it was 3D and it was like the first like big blockbuster to be in yeah. 3D. That's one I of mean, the I mean, I can I can understand so much, especially it when looked, it came out. Yeah, it looked gorgeous. Something. And also, I think it was the, the next film after Titanic that Cameron did. So there was yeah. a huge break. Yeah. And yeah. so there was just enormous hype for this film right yeah yeah but in order to become like the number one film of all time i feel like there needs to be oh people a a large yeah a large majority of people who saw it multiple times and um it's definitely a fun movie but i don't know if i would go see it in the theater like four or five times it holds up visually incredibly well there are shots in that movie that i'm like Natiri looks like a real person in that shot. Like, like she's just exists. Like it's crazy. Um, the acting is still so, so the story is incredibly derivative, whatever, you know, but it's fun. And uh, again, visually it holds up. It makes me excited to see what they're going to do visually for the sequels because technology has only gotten better and seeing things like, you know, Thanos and other things like that. It's uh, it makes me pretty if pumped. That, if that ever happens. Yeah, because he's working on like eight sequels at once and it's, it's yeah. delaying everything or whatever. Yeah. So. I'm sure they'll show up eventually. There's, you know. But yeah, yeah I, I've one. never seen it. You've never seen Avatar? Shocker. Never seen Avatar. That wow. surprises Shocker. me. Yeah, I just does it though? never got around to doing it. That one does yeah. surprise me. Yeah, that seems like a Pete movie through and through. And I've heard that. I just like every time I go to sit down and watch it, I look at like how long it is and I'm like, God, I just don't. Oh, yeah, it's like a part time right job now. for sure. Yeah, like it's kind of ridiculous. I feel like it flies by pretty good. It's got a pretty good. It does go by pretty quick. It tells yeah, a good story. This time it he hasn't seen it though, but right? Like it's first time through for him. Yeah, so that'll make a difference for sure. Yeah. But now me knowing kind of everything that happens, like it definitely yeah, did it drag at some points. Place. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like the first watch through, it was, it was pretty damn fun. Oh. Yeah. Totally. And yeah. this was early Zoe Saldana, right? Like she hadn't done anything. Yeah, this was pre Uhura and yeah. pre yeah. Gamora. Like she had yeah. done, she had other done movies. pirates. I think she had done pirates at that point. She and, had, uh, but she was only in the second movie for like a small part. Yeah. Um oh wait, who are you talking about? Or the first movie. First movie, yeah. Zoe, Zoe Saldana. Not the yeah, second yeah. movie. First movie. movie. Yeah. Um Okay. I would say, Pete, though, at this point, like, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure it will be on the big screen soon. Wait and see it then. It's mm. on Disney Plus, too. I mean, you can that's where I watched it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's solid. And there is an extended cut if you want to sit down for even longer. Yeah. I've never seen that. Yeah, I, haven't seen I, that I own that one. And uh, some of the extensions are good, and some are not so good. I'll leave it vague since Pete hasn't seen it. I should buy it in 3D so I can watch it. I got my TV has 3D. So yeah, I mean, yeah, if you I want a visual got, treat, it I definitely would hope holds so. up. It'd yeah. be a waste of a purchase of 3D if your TV wasn't 3D, <laughs> right? He comes home with the the Blu-rays. Like, I'm like, oh, what right. do you mean it oh. work? <laughs> so I I should get it in 3D because I, I have a 3D TV. Oh, did you guys know that I had a 3D TV? <laughs> It's actually more of a novelty one. now it's than it was when cool. I bought it. Like it, it, it died off pretty quick. So you haven't seen that, the office. So you've seen that's it actually sad. I, I personally love the 3D stuff, but yeah. my wife and kid hated it. So I would really only do it by myself. I, I I'm at the point where like I can appreciate it, but I I'm I'm kind of just like I'm just gonna wait till the technology is better than it is right now because i'm not in, ter- in terms of spending extra money to see it it's like mm-hmm. i you know it is what it is uh, it, a lot of times i won't go see a, a 3d just because or or the fact that it is 3d doesn't really matter to me 
it Me. works better when it's actually filmed in 3D, like in that format, the oh, way yeah. they convert yeah, it. Sure. And there have only been a couple of movies that have done that recently since 3D has been around as a, you know, back as kind of like a thing in theaters. I forgot what they were, but those I saw and I remember enjoying them. But I one think of them a couple of the Harry Potter was the they, final like, destination. Oh, <laughs> All right, well, hold on, Kevin. We'll get yeah. to yeah. just we'll He get wants to, to that. just, he wants to purge it out of himself. Like, get oh, this God. Yeah. yeah, I'm oh, done with God. my 3D thing. We you got right on to that you got, if you want. You got, you got a, no, you got a whole lot. No, we saw Falcon and Falcon Winter Soldier talking. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, we'll uh, Pete, did you watch anything this week that you want to talk about? No? Not really. Okay. Well, I got, and, I, well, uh, now I finally watched my, uh, my two, no, my Law and Order SVU and the, and the Law and Order, uh, no, crime you, thing. what? No, <laughs> no. You, you say that this is what you watched this week and you don't have time for fucking Avatar or, or Breaking Bad. Bad. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, just fuck you. So we're gonna talk about Law and Order. He's like, the I watched Law Doctor Order. Who from the very Jesus first Christ. episode to the end. Hey, d- uh, do me a favor. I'd be more impressed watch, with I that than watching s- SVU. Say hi to that's my true. mom because I assume you're sitting right next to her because that's all she fucking watches. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Ugh. So the Law and Order episode, um, Ugh. where Stabler returns. That one was uh was pretty well it was well done i enjoyed that um the new law and order episode or the new show the organized crime not gonna last it's gonna be a short thing it's not like it's just one long ongoing story it's a cool cast like uh dylan mcdermott's in it it's funny Dermot, that you say Dermot a law and order show isn't going to last it's gonna be on for 45 seasons no it's not it's like i think it's only got like if you look at imdb it's only got like nine episodes scheduled in there it's kind of like a mid-season deal i don't think it's going to last long it looks like they're going to tell one story like it's one little organized crime jaunt it's not going to be like that standard law and order or even regular procedural kind of format I get that if there's if there's one thing that doesn't last it's organized crime right no and and the whole character the things like you that if you're a fan of the show and elliot stabler the character and that whole chris maloney thing if you liked it back then he's totally different now like it's you it's know, almost like he's not older the same character yeah older little little duller than he was like stable used to have a really good edge it was it was a cool character if you you know were into cop shows like that but now it's just is he the uh, one that always took his sunglasses right. off and said something dramatic no, no, that's no David that Caruso, was uh, csi miami oh that's what that was okay i don't yeah, know they're all the fucking same to me i don't know the difference yeah, SV, like like I said last time we talked about it when I said it, it was like coming in, it SVU is got to be ready to be done soon. There's like fucking 21 seasons of that show or something now. And this organized crime thing that they did, eh, forget it. Okay. Forget That's it. I've already it. forgot it. There you go. Right there, you should have just said in the organized crime one, forget about it. That's Forget what you should have fucking yeah. done. You just go it's for gold. It. it writes itself. I know. Jesus Christ. Hey, you hate right. my impression, so I'm not doing it. I was going to say, at the same time, if he did an impression, you'd fucking yeah. read him for that. So it doesn't so I was kind of damned if I did damned if I didn't on that one. So <laughs> but I, figured I, I figured I'd just play that one safer. But deep down, I would have the, the respect of like, oh, that's pretty good, though. I wouldn't say that. At least he went that. for it. Respect. This guy, I'm like, he didn't even see it. It's like, God, he's not like... That's a that's the thing. It's like that's something you expect he would do, but but this is what we're dealing with right now. That he's not even seeing those. So oh, he's drunk. He's gonna say he's fucking he's blasted. Say yeah. he's gonna say. What happens when you're things. wasted? Yeah. All right. Well, that and uh, just some more offices of the episode, or more episodes got of the it. office. Yeah, we got, <laughs> we got it. We got it. Oh we got shit. It. Woo. Hey, we'll Take another sip you. of that water, buddy. Yeah, Pete, yeah. we'll throw it to you when we need you, buddy. You sit, sit tight. <laughs> uh, all right, so moving on to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, so this is the second to last episode. The penultimate. Penultimate episode. Um, and uh, let's, uh, Alex, let's start with you this time. Okay. What were your thoughts? On the penultimate. Penultimate. Uh, I still think last week's episode is probably the strongest of the season so far. Hmm. This episode was good. Uh, I see a lot of people online giving it a lot of shit because 
not a lot happened. You can't see my air quotes if you're just listening, but I feel like that's <laughs> not true. I just feel like it's different stuff that happened. There was a ton of character development this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the continuation of a lot of story threads that have been sidelined, especially the Sam being cap storyline. Um, I feel like uh, just the development of the partnership between the two and I think a lot of that was really strong in its own way. I, I get why people are a little ho hum on the episode because besides that first segment, not a ton happened in the Marvel sense, if you know what I mean. But I I think that this episode is uh I thought it was still really strong and it, I think it it sets up like combining this with everything that's already happened, I think hopefully the last episode will be very strong just kind of all the threads that it's sort of started tying together. And yeah, and this was the first one with a, a post credit scene. I don't know if you guys watched that or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if I did or not. Okay. Well, it wasn't like super, super crucial, but it was cool to see it. Yeah. It was interesting. Um, yeah. I thought it was a good episode. Not as strong as last week, but still really good. All righty. David, what do you think? Uh, I would I would pretty much agree with that assessment. Um, I thought it was interesting that they, you know, I thought that this one would hit the ground running because, uh, mm-hmm. like, I mean, they left off in such a spot, and you you miss all the good stuff. It's like right to the court martial, and you're just like, well, oh. there was there was a little bit of fight. Oh in the well, beginning. yeah, I guess they. I mean, they tussle and they break his arm and they get the shield back, and and that was cool. And yeah, like the uh, it was brutal at the same time. Yeah, that fight was insane. Uh, yeah. yeah it was and uh yeah and, and then and then it's just it really really slowed down and there was some really good stuff in there i think there were other places where it felt like they were trying a little too hard mm. um but uh, i can say that like my daughter was oh. bored out of her mind in this episode. sure <laughs> yeah my youngest totally was yeah she was just like and especially after last week's she was jazzed to see this episode which she has not been for this entire series she was for for wandavision but for this you know it's, it's a little slower burn and she just hasn't been like as down for it but she was really down for it this week and then was you know, on her phone after the first 10 minutes. And I don't know if she looked <laughs> up again. Um, yeah. So for me, no, I'm not a huge comic book guy. It felt like uh, the Veeps, uh, <laughs> she's supposed to be someone, she is someone. That I should know. She is, and she was actually supposed to appear in, her first appearance was supposed to be in Black Widow. And because yeah. of all the timing of all that shit, that got thrown off. Ah. Um, oh really is she I, supposed to be in that as, as well i don't know if she is now like the the, mm. the way that i read um the piece was that her character was supposed to debut in uh in black widow and 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 now she's debuting in um talking to the winter soldier obviously um but i don't know if that means she's not in black widow at all or if it's just the debut is here because this is the first you're talking about versus. val yeah no yeah yeah. Well, yeah, Valentina, yeah, think, whatever her million names yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that Hydra. would be cool if 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 she is in uh you know Black Widow now. That'd be a hell of a no. you know. All right. Yeah. So in I could see like a post credit scene to, to who Maybe. we're talking about. Um well what? it's hard to really want to say anything in case there are story threads that rely on you not knowing who she is for like a reveal. Um well, I think we she would did. have known who she was if Black Widow came out first. You so, think so? Well, yeah. I mean, that was the that was the plan they had. Was she supposed to be uh, the big bad of that movie or something? I don't know. If she's supposed to be the big big bad, but she's supposed to be in it. So, well, if I yeah, because I looked her up or I read something about her because I didn't know who that character was, but she she is somewhat just simply described as the uh, Nick Fury of. Of She's villains. Madam Hydra is her yeah. like comic book uh, name. So, um, so yeah. So I mean, when I saw when I saw that and saw the actress, and uh, I, I was like, y- yeah. I mean, I could totally. I mean, you know, she's uh, you know she played a lot a lot of her characters. At least her you know latest one you know was basically like a kind of like a yeah, villainous. Selena Meyer you know, was. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, yeah. 
but so that's what I like, thought she was great because I thought she was like a subdued Selena Meyer. Like, yeah, yeah. So, like if she was Selena yeah. Meyer who had her shit together. Yeah, right. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I was Finally waiting for Gary to show was. up behind her. <laughs> so that that um that that was cool. I'm like, I that could that could be really good. I get to see that work. Yeah. So again, you know, Marvel's uh, casting is is doing, you know, they, they make some good choices. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see where. Yeah, I'm I'm the same way. I think this last episode will likely be. I'm expecting at least you know to be pretty wall to wall. Yeah. You know. Yeah, they set it up to be the action action or something. Action. Yeah, this so, was really like the calm before the storm. This was like episode two in the last season of Game of Thrones before the long night episode, yeah. where it was just everyone just so. sitting around a table talking being like remember that time like that, that's what this episode felt like oh yeah yeah that's true huh all righty um uh, who wants to go first on there because i'm the only one who didn't watch i'm i'm at the intermission of godfather part two so next week i should have my review of that but everybody else has watched something this week um, did you want to hear about the post credit scene or do you want to go discover that on your own uh, I'll, I'll discover out because I don't know if I saw it or not. Mm. It's real subtle. There's no dialogue at all. It's like 15 seconds long. No. Okay. I'll find it. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. That's fine. Um, so, uh, for, uh, the first person to put their hand up can go first. <laughs> <laughs> Just call someone. Oh, all oh right, we Pete, got go our hand. Quickly. Keep it tight. <laughs> Shut up. No, yeah, okay, so uh, this week, there we guys, go. <laughs> fuck off. Uh, I watched Predator 2, second one in the, uh, the series here. That makes um, sense. That's why it's number two. Yep. yep. <laughs> I, watched weird. Predator, I watched Predator 2, the fifth movie in the series. <laughs> Don't know why they call it two. <laughs> this is why it's never tight. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's fair. She said. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> um, as far as sequels go it, it's actually really good it doesn't hold up as well as uh, the original Predator Danny Glover is a very interesting choice to be like the kind of solo action hero yeah. star of this movie because um, he's already looking old and moving old like the, you know he, he's, oh, he's, he's, fuck, he's, this shit. he's fucking ripped though in that movie man yeah. like in, in Predator 2 I mean he is a little bit older but he looks good like he's he's fucking buff he, like that uh, scene in the beginning when he like pulls the shirt off and puts on the other one he's got like that wife beater on i'm like damn boy look at you go settle down settle down i'm thinking about henry cavill already <laughs> sam sam as you listen to that you should seriously be concerned <laughs> i don't know if you've listened to past episodes but there's some there's some verbiage in there he's pretty he's pretty up on some of the guys so just i'm just talking to you right now you directly sam listen to what he's saying go back look at the video too. the the eyes it's in the eyes all right sorry pete go ahead please by all means so, so it starts uh, out with a wild gunfight in the streets of los angeles in 1997 and uh it's kind of scary because the, the movie is uh it came out in 90 but it takes place in 1997 and what the uh the vision of what 1997 was going to look like from like 1990 was a little scary. Uh, it's pretty, pretty close to reality. <laughs> now they were, the, the police were having like an out and out gunfight in the streets with a, with like yeah. a Mexican cartel. Yeah. But it was, okay. uh, you know, oh, so it's 2021. Exactly. <laughs> um, Danny Glover somehow has a ridiculous arsenal in the trunk of his unmarked police car. Don't they never all ends. do? I feel like every, especially in the 80s, and this they, is like, I know this they. is 90, but it's like right on the <laughs> tail end. They all had an arsenal in their trunk. Yeah, of course. Pop, popped it open. It was like every gun you could want. It's yeah, supposed I think to be it, cool. Yeah, I think in like Cobra, Stallone pulls out like a law rocket launcher at one point. I'm a out Predator of the truck. 2, it's buddy. There. Predator 2. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's, you know, there's this initial kind of fight scene with that, and they they chase the Mexican cartel into a warehouse where the predator makes his first kill, winds up killing everyone after this ridiculous 
kind of section where the head gangster like grabs a handful of cocaine and like shoves his face in it and then like yeah. so, so it's just completely he goes, over the top ah! yeah <laughs> um you know and then it establishes that danny glover is afraid of heights as he chases uh uh someone up onto the roof that's right that was and like his thing yeah like he he you know he can't do the whole heights thing and he sees that like shimmering kind of light bending effect that they do I've for the predator part, when it's invisible yeah. um and he pulls his gun on the predator which yeah is a death sentence but for some reason isn't in this movie <laughs> Um, so the, you know, the plot starts to play out. Bill Paxton joins as the transferring in young brash cop who, you know, is, a uh, all talk and wise mouthed. Um, they start tracking the, they, they start trying to figure out what went on with the Colombian drug Lords that they were, that they were fighting with in the beginning and, uh, cut to the Colombian drug Lords being attacked by the, jamaican drug lords and the predator being at the colombian drug lords uh apartment and he kills everybody inside there and that's the next crime scene that they uh find uh some piece of the predator uh some new weapon that that he shoots out it's a little prong thing that they pull out of the ceiling vent or something it's all just moving the plot along it's it's kind of the the same way that the predator showed up in the first movie it's he's there for like a quick minute goes away and comes back they don't waste any time though showing you him in this one like he it, it pops in and out of the yeah he does um, the decloak the stealth thing a lot thing. yeah yeah like right away like they, yeah. they know that you're there to see in this okay he is. so he is danny glover is following the trail of all these these skills and gary Busey suddenly shows up as like the fbi agent but he's actually a shadowy government agency um he's the whole agency yes him by himself Just him? um he's actually <laughs> hey gary we're gonna give you your own assignment and your own agency buddy <laughs> now so he you know the, like they make it seem like he's an fbi agent at first like that's how he plays himself off and then you you know you discover that he's part of this you know secret agency and basically men in black yeah kind of and then um adam he's got adam a younger adam baldwin like way pre firefly and everything else is Mm -hmm. his like kind of second in command um they you know there's all sorts of investigating which adam baldwin jane from firefly yeah he's he's not a baldwin yeah yeah he's he's been in a bunch of stuff he was also in independence day and uh yeah which i know you love so i figured you'd know that yeah yeah got him <laughs> um you know we go through we meet the jamaican drug lord the predator uh follows danny glover to meet with the jamaican drug lord and that's the like the first kind of person in the movie that like fights him and so that's the first skull that the predator st- like takes as a trophy and they show him ripping off the head and pulling the spine out um and that's what we got up here in my background because it's uh he's standing on top of a building in la with this guy's like skull and spine and he gets struck by lightning because there's miraculously some sort of thunderstorm in los angeles like right over downtown on this one night um then you get to see the throne room you don't see that what caused the clock tower to stop working I think so. Okay. Um, and then uh, you find out that uh, that this is when you find out Gary Busey is part of the secret agency. They're trying to catch the predator. Danny Glover, uh, you know, finds out what's going on. Bill Paxton dies in the L.A. subway because um, the predator Spoiler. goes yeah goes down Seriously. into the subway and is uh is down there and he's on a train and. It, there's, there's a couple of really and silly dies. Like, it, he's just fucking commuting yeah, basically. No, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, trying to get to work man just trying to do <laughs> actually they were five. they were on their way to see another suspect but he had, the predator was tracking bill paxton because he had been trying to follow uh danny glover earlier in the movie <laughs> I feel, I feel like the predator is in the next car with like a new he's just like he's just, like, uh, he's just holding the like fucking handrail just <laughs> like fucking a depressed. On in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> like Raphael from ninja turtles like so obvious his feet are just his normal feet everyone's like what the fuck yeah. 
You still hear that clicking. He's like, <laughs> who the fuck is that? Does someone have a cat? His fucking gun pops out of the trench coat and like looks around. Uh, that would be hilarious. He just looks up. All right. He's tracking him. Why aren't we he's making like, predator he's a, movies? He's a, he's a predator. Just kill him. <laughs> it's like that's the thing. I like what did, did did they establish what the predator like? What what's his motive? Like what's going on? What's what's the point? Yeah. Well, so that's it's always the same thing. He just looks for the most challenging prey. Yeah. And tries to and he chose kill Bill it. Paxton. Well, no, he he, <laughs> he was tracking Bill Paxton to try and find Danny Glover. Uh, like that's that's how he like that's how he wound Bill up Paxton getting... just tripped and fell on the third rail, and the train just hit him. So it's just a whoopsie doozy. And so <laughs> so the trail went cold. Did and, someone am say I right? Game over man, game over when he game over, game over man. man. <laughs> You know, but it, he did the standard predator thing where he's hanging people from the ceiling of, of you know. That's so predator. <laughs> As one does. <laughs> um, all right. Eventually all leading to uh, Danny Glover chasing the predator uh, through the city until he finds the, uh, until his car is rammed by a, a truck being driven by one of uh, Gary Busey's <laughs> secret agents. And you go and find out that Gary Busey has been tracking the Predator using pheromones. Uh, they've got some sort of magic pheromone camera that can see like the scent of the Predator as it goes by. Um, and He's so the they're... Heat. Well, what they do is apparently the Predator comes to this yeah, he does. warehouse. <laughs> and this is where he feeds uh, you know, every so often since he's been back on Earth. Or since he's been on Earth. Um, and so they set up this whole trap for him and they've, you know, they're wearing these special heat protective suits and they've got like nitrogen guns because they're going to try and freeze him and capture him. Um, but the predator, of course, sneaks into the building. He's smarter than that. He feels something is amiss because he can hear the creaking of the wooden stairs in the meat packing plant. And so he finds them all by changing the spectrum that he's in. Fucking slaughters everybody. Danny Glover tries to to save them all tell them all to get out because they're they're being observed off in one of the trailers by the other secret agents he goes back to his trunk and he has more weapons than he had before somehow um now he's got the full-on m16 with the grenade launcher which was one of the big deals in 80 movies he got a lot of that and also uh he strapped like a shotgun to his side mm -hmm. to, to like his hip but it was like a really short sawed off shotgun is yeah really weird yeah, police. Um, you just, police you just answered the question of what it was right there. It's all yeah. shotgun. They were still with you. It's all tracks. <laughs> okay. um, and so he goes bursting into the warehouse to try and save Gary Busey's team, which unbeknownst to him are all dead at this point, except for Gary Busey. Um, can't Danny Gary Busey. I, yeah. He shows <laughs> up with a with a, a huge arsenal, a bunch of uh dead cops, and uh and you're telling me he's not getting arrested? I don't see it. Um, so the the uh, you know Danny Glover busts in, kind of saves the day. Uh, Gary Busey gets shot by a predator blast. Um, the predator gets injured by Danny Glover at first, and then he shoots him with the shotgun yeah. a few times, a number of and, times. Yeah, and and it doesn't it doesn't like it hits him in his unarmored you know body parts and it doesn't hit him like a shotgun would unless he's using like solid slugs and so it's 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 a that's a an interesting little uh that's where pete draws the line yeah exactly <laughs> that, uh, like, let's talk about bullet physics for a second right so um, this is when i shut it off the first time i was watching it <laughs> so bullshit. he falls out and of course you know danny glover walks over to try and see if he's still alive he pokes him and you get the uh you know the he somehow figures out you unscrew the thing and pulls the predator's mask off leans in and says you know you're one ugly and then the predator wakes up grabs danny glover by the throat and does his whole predator mouth thing and finishes the motherfucker just like you know from the yep. the first movie um throws danny glover off and then boom gary Busey winds up being alive mm-hmm um, but very like scarred and blasted. He's like trying to freeze the predator, and the predator just cuts him in half. Yep, with uh, his little disc thing. Yeah, so now he's got this new weapon, the little disc thing he goes, which is important in just a moment. 
uh danny glover uh gets out there they chase through the the whole meatpacking thing until uh he finds the predator's spear outside that the predator was trying to kill him with uh the predator's injured and he's trying to like he's like by the edge of the of a building so danny glover goes and like rams into him for some reason even though he's afraid of heights and it seems like they're you know 10 15 stories up and they both get knocked off the side of the building danny glover of course finds himself on a ledge with the predator hanging off one with his hand one with the the disc like jammed into the the uh side of the building to hold on to and then he winds up letting go of that and danny glover somehow is able to just in time as the predator is activating his self-destruct thing uh danny glover has time to pull this disc out of the wall and slice off the predator's arm breaking the self-destruct thing and the predator falls and grabs onto a drain pipe and the drain pipe breaks and he ends up in the bathroom of a building across the street at which he pulls out his predator medical kit and somehow knows that it's canon no it's a well oh it's canon yeah it's it's like a little first aid kit yeah he he opens it up did he yeah, I don't when, he healed, when he heals himself after the fight in the tree. Okay, does the same thing, but this time apparently um, he can use sheetrock and shards of mirror um, as sort of a, a healing agent that he mixes the stuff up in, and he uh, fixes his dead arm. Danny Glover ends up, you know, doing the whole uh, "I'm afraid of heights" thing. Goes into the same thing. They chase each other. They fall down an elevator shaft the bottom of the elevator shaft there's a hole and apparently in the sewer underneath this one particular building where they've ended up is where the predator spaceship is Mm -hmm. Um, lucky follows the predator to the spaceship they they fight and danny glover kills him you know he winds up like stabbing him like just like hard in the chest with his little disc and he stands up and all of a sudden like fucking seven predators suddenly appear like decloaking in the thing and it's some of the worst green screening ever like it's, it's really so bad. bad it's like really really bad um and they just they give him a you know they take their fallen comrade and they walk him off and they give you know the head predator gives danny glover a pistol from 1715 basically indicating that the predators have come to earth and hunted before mm-hmm um like in the first movie yeah but no like like the first no i'm saying but like the first movie wasn't like the first exposure no, I, like they've been coming around for years and years yeah um but it, it you know and it just basically ends there danny glover escapes the ship the predators fly off and that's that it just like ends like that and that's uh, they don't kill him no nope. no he, he won the fight he, they he respect killed him. the predator yeah that's why they gave him the gun that he's was got intergalactic street cred Mm-hmm. Oh. So um sportsmanship, huh? We expect that from a right? predator. They care about that. They're, that's a thing for them. <clears throat> Apparently. As far as sequels go. Allegedly. <laughs> for like those kind of 80s, early 90s action films, this was your standard sequel. Um it's, so it's, it's part two. Yeah, it's fun. Um it, better than the first god no no uh, no <laughs> not not at all um, i'm interested to see like the only one of these the predator series that i haven't seen is predators with um, that one's good the Adrian Adrian Brody. Brody one yeah haven't seen that one i saw the newest one and i've seen both the alien versus predator movies mm-hmm. so i kind of know what i'm getting into with that one but i haven't seen the adrian brody one so i'm, I'm interested in or avatar or avatar but he's seen yeah. that other shit already <laughs> I haven't seen Avatar. Um, That's so surprising. Anyways. Yeah, good movie. Yeah, it's all right. Not you know, it, it, it's it's a it's a standard eighty sequel. You know, made in the nineties. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then uh, let's let's move on to um, uh, David. How about uh, how are you, Quantum of Solace? <laughs> 
for those who weren't watching, Kevin was pointing at himself. I know we just... Yeah. Just no, 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 no. We, we got to fi- uh, save the final destination. This is, this is what I went through when I had my nightmare <laughs> movies. I knew I was always going to be the closer. So now you just have to deal with it, man. Yeah. That's just how it works. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, Quantum Assault it, 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 like, is... It. is <laughs> yeah, it's the worst of the uh, of the Daniel Craig's, but it's still the best of anything that uh, you guys it's, watched. It's week. still it's still the best <laughs> Final Destination movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anything is the best Final Destination movie. So our our number two Daniel Craig film is Quantum of Solace. Uh, what that name means in the context of this film is beyond me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They just like put a couple of words together and went, <laughs> "Sounds like a Bond film." Yeah. All yeah. Right. yeah. So um, make a song out of that, somebody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it was uh, if I remember correctly, the song was uh, Jack White and Alicia Keys. It was actually a pretty decent song. Yeah. Hmm. Um, all his all of his have been pretty decent yeah um the I, songs I, my, yeah the, my favorite is still from also casino royale mm-hmm. uh by um um just lost his name um lead singer of soundgarden chris cornell chris cornell um uh, yeah you know my name that that's my favorite and then this last one that hasn't come out yet for billy eilish that was pretty good and then you got adele with skyfall but anyway yeah. sorry quanto solace by all means so, yeah, this one uh, comes in pretty short. It's like an hour 47. Um, yeah. So it, 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 you know, and uh, the reason is because there's no plot to yeah. this one. Makes sense. You know, usually there's like some big convoluted plot and it's, it's just not there. So basically um, there's a, a green technology mogul who is working with this giant shadow organization that revealed themselves at the end of Casino Royale when they kidnapped Vesper and uh, used her against him. Um, So he's tracking them and he tracks them to this guy, uh, Dominic Green. And um, he is part of this company called like Green Power or some shit like that, you know, something very basic. Anyways, Come to find out his plan is to uh, destabilize the um, government of Bolivia so that an exiled general can come in and take over with the help of the police captain and they'll have a coup. And then when they do in exchange, he'll get this, you know, plot of land in the middle of the desert that has to everyone's knowledge, no significant value. Uh, It has already been searched for oil and there is no oil there. Um, so that is the plot of the film. The Americans are willing to let things go through. And so are the British to an extent because they want oil and they think that, uh, he's got oil there. So they kind of let everything happen. Bond has to kind of go off and do his own thing. Cause he knows that, uh, you know, something else is going on. That's pretty much it. You get to the end. Everyone's at the, this, um, uh hotel in the middle of a desert there's nothing else around yeah the entire hotel is powered by uh hydrogen fuel cells that are conveniently in the wall of every single room in this entire fucking building and so of course over the course of the fight um everything starts blowing up because every room is a potential bomb for some reason and uh, so, yeah, by the Directed end. Directed by Michael Bay. Yeah. Everyone's <laughs> dead. Um, the you Bond and the girl out. get out together. Uh, Bond did shag another girl earlier. Her name was Strawberry Fields. Which is, oh, yeah. God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's very Bond. You had, to, you had to sneak one in. Like, there's one every Bond film. And uh, yeah, so Strawberry Fields is, uh, you know, they, they, there's no sex scene. She just kind of like shows up and, and then later you see her um, entirely nude, but covered in oil. Um, like, so she was pulled out of an oil drum and like dropped on his bed. Um, that adds to the, you know, there is oil thing. Hmm. That's the film. It's not terribly exciting. It's not a bad film, but it's not a good film either, you know. It's got a 62 on Rotten Tomatoes, which I think is generous, if I'm being honest. Mm. Um, I would put this at like a 54. Is it's that a critic movie. or audience? I think it's a mixture. 
Oh, I see. Yeah. Like the average. Yeah. But the ne- but the next one's really good. Yeah, the next one's good. But yeah, I like Skyfall. Well, I mean, I, the next two are good, in my opinion. I, like I didn't now. So I'm curious to see um, what is it, Solstice or whatever the fourth one's called? Spectre. 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 I'm curious to see that one again because um, I did not like it the first time. I, I don't remember why at this point. Um, so look forward to seeing it again and seeing if I have the same reaction. Yeah. So, all righty, cool. Well, that takes us all the way over to Alex. With That's American me. I too, which, yeah. as we already know, is the second one. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Um, and uh, that means it's the sequel. Yeah. I remember that. Uh, I remember when this came out. I, I feel like they did, did they get. They didn't get everybody back, right? They kind of just had maybe like a cameo or something. Over they had got every single person back. Yeah, they got it. Oh, everybody. they did? Oh, in okay. this one, yeah. Oh, this one. I think they get everybody in all of them. Yeah. We'll see. Really? Yeah. In the, yeah. In the, in the, the four mainline ones. I, I think that's more or less true. Yeah. In the, in the they main also get ones. a lot of the tertiary characters back. Like even the Shermanators back in the reunion. Yeah, Sherman's um, in this one. And... Um, the curly haired blonde girls in this one, her part's a lot smaller, but she's back. Yeah. Even Stifler's even mom is back. Like yeah. everyone's there. Yeah. Like John Cho's in it too, right? Like, John yeah. Cho. Yeah. He was super side character and he's, he's got a little more to do this time, but he's still very much a side character. But yeah, All in right. this one, anyway, it was, it was, everyone was there. Like there wasn't a single person missing that I can remember. Not that that means much. Cause I already barely remember the first one from a week ago. Um, <clears throat> So American Pie 2, I have to say, I think this is actually better than American Pie 1. Wow. Um, wow. Watching it now and having just seen one from, it's still mega awkward and the humor is incredibly dated and always focused around something sexual or disgusting. Like that really hasn't changed, but It does benefit from being slightly more modern, like the pacing's a little bit better. The story is about the same. So, you know, not much different there, but like the editing is better. Like the, like, it just flows a little bit better than the first one. It doesn't mean it's a good movie. It just means that it's a little bit better than than the first one. And there's actually some development with some of the characters, which I think is kind of nice. Whereas in the first one there, there really isn't. They just have the goal of, bang before they go to college and that's like the whole movie but in this one there's relationships that form and some that break apart and come back together yada 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 so i think it is stronger like if watching these back to back i think it's a better movie um it's it's still not very good i think i i maybe laughed like two or three times um like genuinely and then i had a couple chuckles so a little bit more than the first one um but yeah, the, uh, the basic plot of this one, I guess, just to kind of recap, oh good, my cat's going crazy right now. So if you hear her meowing, I apologize. Um, is that they have gone off to college. Um, this is a year later. So they're just coming home for summer break after their freshman year of college. And uh, they none of them had a very successful sex life in college. And so they kind of want to change that. So they like rent a cabin on a lake and try to have like a cool party so that they can bang. So more or less the plot of the first one, just a year later. Um, other than that, the same lake that had Stifler's mom's cabin from the first. No, movie? this is a this is a it's house a different that, it's a different house. But um, yeah, Kevin's brother rented this house and yeah, told yes. Kevin stories about how like awesome this summer. Go was. Go ahead and take it from yeah. here, Pete. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> of course, how many times of did you watch this movie? You can recite dude. this fucking movie. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think for all the shortcomings, and there are a number of them, I think it is still a stronger movie. Uh, they actually develop Allison Hannigan's character, other than her just being like an awkward band geek, like she was in the first one, like she actually has a storyline this time. I didn't realize how trivial she was in the first movie until I recently oh, yeah. watched it again. I always thought like, because she's essentially a main character in these movies, quote unquote, yeah. but not really in the first one. She's super side character in the first one. I had no idea. I did not remember that at all. And so she kind of gets the movie that made her. And I think that 
Was this uh, before that Buffy? Buffy was, was before Buffy. this. Was Buffy before this? Yeah, I yeah, think so. I believe so. Ninety nine. Yeah, I think this kind of showed before. a different side of her. For sure. Yeah, yeah. And then after this was obviously How I Met Your Mother. So that yeah. was like yeah. her post American yeah. Pie thing. But yeah, it's it was fine. Um, I mean, I think I it was beneficial that I had just watched the first one. Obviously, like if I would have actually seen these, like when they came out, like two years apart, I would have been like, what's happening? Like it, it, it's, they're just kind of very forgettable and the characters are very forgettable. So it was good that I had that fresh in my mind, but nothing, nothing to write home about. It was, it was fine. I will say that now, you know, cause I had to look for these and I didn't want to pay money for them, obviously. So um, I've actually found these on, on Peacock. So I am now a Peacock member, which I was not oh. before. So I, I might find some interesting stuff on there. We'll There's a see. lot on Peacock. Yeah, I've noticed. There's like a ton of crap. So yeah. is that Avatar on Peacock? Disney, no, Plus. Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Disney Plus for that one. So there you go. But uh, all right. yeah, it was, it was all right. That's it was all right. It was all right. Like I, it's all right. Like that's the that's you know, my you know, glowing he, you review. Know who, you know who needs a really good movie? It's it's Alex. He needs a good movie. Yeah, <laughs> he, he gets shit all the time. These are infinitely more entertaining than the night. Yeah, movies. oh for sure, for like, sure. I'll watch. But still, I'll watch these still. forever. If I, I never know, had to see those. You got movies. you got Daniel Craig over here. I got the Godfather series. You got Final Destination. I mean, everyone just hitting home runs, and you, you're just. Uh, well, I mean, I'm hitting home runs to a degree. <laughs> yeah. Okay obviously oh and i did want to mention because you guys said like the decline of tara reed this was actually her peak yeah she's 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 a little bit yeah nicer in this one than she was in the first one and i think after this is when she starts but well yeah well she yeah she was discovered i think in the first one and then you yeah. know just a couple of years later she didn't do I much think other actually her breakout role is in the big lebowski she plays like bunny one who's kidnapped yeah. I think that's yeah. and then shortly after that she gets american pie and then this, if go. i remember correctly something yeah like then, then she sense. just does blow for a while <laughs> she had a really botched boob job that like hurt her career that's, too that made it to her face yeah oh no <laughs> all righty so now on to the final destination which i'm sure <laughs> Out of all the movies that have been described so far, has the richest plot mm. and uh, best directing. Yeah, let me guess. So it I, starts with someone having a premonition of a bunch of people dying. Yeah, yeah. I, I've talked about this movie three. <laughs> Shut times up, now. Alex. Let him talk. Yeah, yeah. I've talked about this movie three times now, and it's <laughs> like they sat down and they're like, "How can we make this worse than the last one?" And so they decided to film the whole thing in three D uh but in thank most, god well lucky yeah. lucky you that you have a 3d television <laughs> i did not oh my god i didn't even see it talk about Barry the lead jesus what? come on yeah wow. so uh stop the podcast go watch it in 3d and then come back yeah because I, I will not come back that's half the experience right there if you're not watching 3d you miss so much <laughs> yeah no it i didn't it doesn't matter it okay. doesn't matter um like all of the 3d sequel there's like when something shitty's happening like it's kind of cool like a you know you see a tire so it opens up there at a, a nascar track or a race car track i see where um, this is going yeah it just, it starts <laughs> up hot. Um, actually i think i oh no this is this here's the game i'm going to be playing with you during this entire thing have i seen this movie <laughs> Yeah, uh, I gotta hope not. There's fucking nobody in this movie. No, I, like, think, absolutely I think the NASCAR was movie. the preview. I think the NASCAR scene Probably. was the preview. That sounds Probably. familiar, yeah. Because I know I haven't so, seen this, but I think I saw a commercial with that. I feel like yeah. just as confident as you do, Alex. Yeah, so the whole <laughs> premonition scene opens up at the beginning at a, at a racetrack where a dude goes to get sodas or some shit and he comes back and he sets him on the bench next to him and the bench cracks and like that's his aha moment. Like, oh my God, shit's about to go sideways, which I was like, it was a shitty bench at a shitty racetrack. Um, and then like, so there's the whole accident and a bunch of people die and it's really stupid. Um, but like one of the, one of the effects is like one of the car blows up, the tire, tire goes flying off and comes at the screen. And that's, 
you know, I can see how that's kind of cool in 3D and some of the race stuff is kind of cool in 3D or whatever. Um, but of course, the racetrack is so old, it's made of cement like, uh, like the Oakland Coliseum. And so somehow when this one car accident happens, it like levels the stadium too. <laughs> so it just tons of people die in the stadium. Like it's, it's really great. Hmm. Uh, and so like the, the deaths in there are, are, are better than the, the, um, the deaths in the uh, opening scene of the last one. Uh, one girl gets hit by the tire that goes flying off the car, but gets completely obliterated by it. Like it, <laughs> it hits her and she's, and she's just like gone. <laughs> Uh, one girl, like a whole engine comes flying out of the car and like smashes her into the ground. So that was kind of neat. Um, and like, and so the, the, the deaths in there were kind of gruesome, but lame. Like one of them, like uh, that bench that broke a piece of it flips up and then a dude falls backwards and it stabs him right through the head. Um, and it was totally done for 3D because you can tell when it it's oh, supposed yeah. to pop out at you when it goes through his head. Um and then like after that like they just stop using the 3d effects in like any kind of intelligent way so the dude that that had the premonition and that's going to be the guy that saves everybody the whole time um he keeps having these dreams that are telling him how the how the next person is going to die but like so this there, there's this uh this movie is, is somehow like oddly racist too like the there's a black security guard at the racetrack and there's a guy that for some reason they, they decided to write the character as like a neo-nazi like he's got the tattoos and everything uh he sees the black guy and says something shitty to him and then he starts whistling like a dixieland song um just to like emphasize that he doesn't like black people um and so he's the, of course the first one to die um you know afterwards but so the kid has a dream where he sees like a hook and fire. And there are there all these shitty like uh, computer animations of just like a hook floating around and coming at you in 3D. Like there's no context. <laughs> like it's so fucking bad. Does this and, relate to any of the other Final Destinations? Uh, they uh, once again, once they figure out what's going on, uh, they reference the first movie. Like they do some searches about how people have had premonitions before afterwards uh, and then everybody starts dying and in the order that they uh you know in the, that they would have died you know whatever I have a question oh go ahead so the whole the whole nascar thing with the stadium leveling and all that stuff everyone dying that was a premonition that was the premonition the, so yeah. he woke so he woke up and then he, he flashes able to get, back and so he's able to get a stadium worth of people out before the, no happened. no he gets like six people out and okay. then everybody else dies in the stadium he's he's not really a very good hero um and and like i i can't even really tell you what happens in the rest of this movie other than everybody <laughs> that died dies in order like they're so how do you how do they uh, figure out the order oh, oh no he remembers he's the first one that like remembers his premonition like crystal clear in all the movies like because so when it comes back so you know after he dies in his premonition it flashes back to him you know in the thing and he's like oh my god that's gonna happen this guy's gonna say that that guy's gonna whistle blah 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 and so that's uh, like everybody's like oh my god how are you doing this and he's like we've gotta go and so that that's how he gets <laughs> you know some of them out um, pretty weird how'd you do that we gotta get out of here <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'd be like oh fuck um yeah and it's just it's never good dude like there's not there's not a moment of this movie where it was good or interesting like you can tell that at this point they really have used up all of their ideas because it's just like it makes no, the last one look barely yeah. not you have one more to go yeah, i've got <laughs> one more He's like all right i got this one last hail mary of an idea for a movie <laughs> I, I feel like they've made the fifth one just to try and do better than this one because this one's called The Final Destination. It's not Final Destination 4. It's The Final Destination, which would imply that it was the last one they were yeah, going to do. So. Same uh, as Freddy, uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Same as Freddy's Dead, yeah. 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 So, that didn't work there so, either. Yeah. And it just, and then at the very end, you know, they, they think they get away with it. 
And, uh, you know, there's, there's three of them that somehow survived this time. And then they're sitting in a coffee shop and then somebody's like, oh my God, what if it was just trying to get us all in one place at the same time? And then a truck hits them and they die. And you're like, okay, thank God. A truck um, just what runs into the just runs. Shop? They're in a coffee shop. Yeah. And it just drives into a coffee shop and kills them all. And then did one of them wake up and it's a premonition like they did in the no, last one? No, they didn't, even, they didn't oh. even bother with that bit of genius. Uh, they're just dead. Um, and they I, didn't I just, DP oh, this one, huh? No. No double no double uh, premonitions? No. Mm. I felt like I got DP'd. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. I'm uh, awake. <laughs> Yeah, I almost I almost watched the fifth one tonight just to fucking be done with this shit. Yeah. Uh, nope. And I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Thankfully, I only had to pay three dollars to rent this one. <laughs> yeah. I, sl- I I don't know. I find because I, I know I'll eventually have to do it. I assume, but I think it's hilarious when we have to pay to watch this shit. That's not Something that funny. Fucking horrible. I think it's uh, I think it's funny. Yeah, you know, three bucks. It's three bucks, but it's just like, well, it's for it's for entertainment purposes. The nice thing is that at some point it's gonna, you know, after forty eight hours, it, it won't show that I watched it on Apple TV. Like it's not gonna stay there, <laughs> so I don't have to admit that to anybody. So who's <laughs> watching this? Nobody's you watching. Paid this. money for this. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Yeah. Well, uh, there we go. We're uh, through our franchises, and then last thing on the docket is this listing of um sequels that are better than the originals um do we want to take a quick break beforehand yeah let's take a let's take a quick five beforehand okay all right so uh so you listeners will hear something i guess i imagine i'm sure pete's on it and then uh when we come back Sequels that are better than the originals. And we're back. Okay, so um, we are going to go through this list that just happened to find today of uh, 19 movie sequels that are as good or better than the originals. Um, a reminder that not all sequels suck, which is true, but um, oftentimes I say they are. So usually not even the second one. Usually it's anything past that, I think, is where the decline really starts to uh, occur yeah. in most cases. So first one. Now this, um, I, I think uh, this was asked on Reddit. And so this is like some of the responses, I guess, from from that. So in no particular order. Okay, so there's no order. order. <laughs> well, they have just one through 19, but nothing like, you know, as okay. far as like this was the most ranked or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Number one, Spider-Man 2. So it was even better than the first one, and I am referring to Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Not only that, it's the best superhero film ever made, in my uh, opinion. Okay, so credibility shot right there. Yeah, that's but, not true at all. <laughs> but just in terms of Spider-Man Two being better than Spider-Man, um, that was, was Doc Ock, right? That was Doc Ock. That's Doc Ock. So you got. Ooh, by the, the way, Doc- in uh, when he comes back, in the Tom Holland one is supposed to pick up. Literally right after Spider Man Two. Yeah, I don't know that he was supposed to say say that. That broke today, actually. Yeah, that he yesterday. just straight up said, "Yeah, I'm I'm playing the same character, and I'm coming right back where I was." I'm like, "This is Marvel, dude. You're gonna get yeah. sniped." Like they they're quiet. gonna de-age him and everything, so he looks exactly like he did. Wow. In the second, like one. I'm yeah. fucking Alfred Molina. What are they gonna do? That's very true. <laughs> he doesn't give he doesn't Rabbit give a shit. Off. Fuckers. Yeah. So, but I don't know. Uh, and this I, is the one where uh, I don't think either of those movies are particularly good. I think they're both equally okay movies. I don't really know that for their time they were good though. for the for their yeah. time they, they, they were the best. Out, they were pretty good movies yeah. that were out yeah. at that time. I, I was actually in the minority even then, thinking that they were like they were okay. I wasn't like blown away like the rest of the world was. I was like, yeah, those are fine. Like, 
I actually agree with Alex. I didn't like him. Yeah. I they mean, obviously like, now like, we have Tom Holland and other things to compare them against, which makes them look awful. But I remember yeah. all my friends being super hyped on that movie when we saw it. And I was like, it was okay. Like, I don't know. I, I don't think I liked Toby or Kirsten and they yeah. were the main characters. Yeah, I wasn't I liked, a fan of hers, but I, I liked him just fine. I liked Toby I liked him. fine. He was fine as Peter. I didn't like him as Spider-Man. Do you know what I mean? It's like having someone who's good at Bruce Wayne, but not good at Batman, like George Clooney. So it's like, yeah. I don't know. Which I, one was he good at? He was he was not a bad Bruce Wayne. He was all right as Bruce yeah. Wayne. He was just a very bad Batman. Yeah. Okay. Well, he had crap material to work with. Oh, I know. It's not all his right. fault. We're not, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> DC uh, baby, here we two. come. Number two, <laughs> we did that. Quick. Did we? Did we agree? Yes or no? Like, what's the majority rules on that one? I would say for me, I remember them being somewhat equal. So if this yeah. article is saying equal yeah. or better, I would say equal, but definitely not better. But I have not seen these movies in a long time. Yeah, I haven't seen. And them it's long also time. don't worry, they're on the wheel. Well, it's also possible <laughs> that I I like number two because number three is so bad well yeah so well, no i remember I, I i yeah i think it's the same thing that where i would probably if i had if i had to choose between the first one or second one i'd probably go with the first one yeah um uh, but because the yeah. second one had a few i don't know i don't know it, it a lot of stuff going on where it even talks about you know how uh, Peter Parker is in full blown crisis mode. He's losing his mm-hmm. job. He's struggling to pay rent. He's losing his girls, fa- failing in his classes. Yeah. You know, all, all this stuff. It's just, I don't know. I think a lot of it trying to keep track of just made it a little busy, but not not a bad sequel by any means. But um, I don't know if it's better than the first. All right. Number two Adam's Family Values. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have nothing to say about it. David just left. He said, "Fuck yeah. this." I, I haven't seen either of these in. It feels like a hundred years. I, but I, I will say, when those movies came out, they were very entertaining. Um, just because they were so uh, kind of creative in the way that they were made, mm-hmm. um, or or at least the idea of them being a movie. Um, you know, based on a show that was as old as it was and based on a comic book that was so, not comic book, but a comic strip that was so dark. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I've actually they were fun. These... I thought Raul Julia was great. Of course. Um, well, everyone was really good. I mean, yeah. I remember the, bits the... and pieces. They're, they're good. Yeah. I've watched these more recently because Stella wanted to watch them. She saw like so the Adams Family cartoon and she wants, so she wanted to see the live action ones. And mm-hmm. This actually is fair. They're they're not great, but the second one is as good as the first one. Like they're it's like Kevin said, they are very creatively done. They're very goofy. They're very Adams family. If you like the Adams family, that makes and sense, you bought into that. If you like the Adams family. family and you then, then you want to watch this it, movie. Got then it. You want to watch the movie. <laughs> the only the only person I can't remember who played was Pugsley. I don't remember who played him. He's gone on uh, to nothing. Yeah, because Christina, you had Christina Ricci, you had Rose Julia, you had Angelica Houston, Christopher Lloyd. I mean, it was a good cast. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't, the second one's where they go to camp, right? They go to yeah. summer camp. I seem to recall parts of that then more. Like yeah. when, when Wednesday's at summer camp and all the other girls are like blonde and wearing like white bathing suits and she's just running around in her black dress and freaking everybody mm-hmm. out. But yeah, I can't recall enough of the movie to have any say on this whatsoever. Yeah, I can't either. <laughs> okay, doke. They're moving Doing on great to so far. <laughs> so yeah, far, so fire. good. <laughs> Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Oh, yeah, that's no that's question. That's 100%. No yeah, question. That was infinitely better than the first one. Mm-hmm. Is it, though? Yes. Yes. It is. Better, but yeah. you know it is. It is. It is. It is. Uh, I, uh, I would whole... say infinitely. Like I think that's way stronger in every way. I'm confused a little bit by this little like uh, quote here. Is it? Oh, don't my... read the quote. The, the quote things are stupid. Those people are dumb. no. But this is like I'm kind of curious. I want to get your guys' opinion in terms of what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> uh, my only regret is the sequels never held up to T2, which is 
true but like my regret like what were you directing this yeah. uh, <laughs> that's, that's actually james cameron that, that's actually yeah, the like, screenwriter yeah <laughs> imagine if they did that's the timeline i wish we were in okay. like like living <laughs> in because it's pretty bleak if that's what you want <laughs> or you're talking about the the sequels after that being in this timeline so i'm like why and that's and that's the quote they chose to put with this with this one yep put that one up I think, yeah. yeah of all the people that talked about terminator 2 i think they were that guy. i think they I were trying to be clever underscore demons there you go i think they were trying to be clever by using yeah like okay. time as an analogy but it didn't work this next mm-hmm. one i think is also going to be a unanimous yes any any guesses? Empire probably. Empire Strikes yeah, Back. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably the only film in Star Wars alongside A New Hope that everyone can agree is a great film. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, they're both great, but yeah, ESB is is ESB man. Like, it's the yeah. Goat. I'd say it's it's I yeah it's it's the best. I say well at least my. Uh, of at least that of the trilogy nine. is my favorite. I I, I didn't. Um, it, I'd have to really consider. I, I maybe out of all of them, but I know that. I mean, Phantom like, Menace is probably the best one out of all nine, for sure. Yeah, but, no yeah, doubt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I didn't want to even mention it. I mean, that's yeah. just why we waste the time of breath yeah. even coming up I mean, with that. Thanks, yeah. Kevin. Jesus. Yeah. Duh. I think it when I was younger, I I didn't like Empire as much because it is a for a Star Wars film, a much more thoughtful, kind of slower paced film. Like I remember liking Return of the Jedi a lot when I was younger, but mm-hmm. as I got yeah. older, I appreciated Empire more and more. And obviously I now thought, I think I thought Star A New Hope was slower than uh, Empire. I I mean I am oh yeah saying. of course yeah it, it's it's tough because everyone has their own opinion about that, but uh, no. But I'm I'm with you on that though. Like when I when I was young, a Jedi was my favorite because um, it was more there was more action. Like yeah, just stuff happening action, constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I don't know how I remember this, but I saw that movie ten times in the theater. When Which one, Empire one? or Return? Empire. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. And I was oh wait, it came out in 1983. That sounds right. Um, six years after the first one? No, no, no. No, 83 was Jedi. Yeah. Wasn't yeah, it? It was like 80. 80. It's 80, 81, somewhere in there. The, yeah. The Empire. Yeah. I don't know how that, because I, I, I'm like, I know I was young, but I don't know if that, that works. Maybe they had a, they maybe put it back in the theater. Maybe that's when I saw it. They probably older. did before Jedi. Yeah. yeah it, so that's probably when they I saw did. it. All right. Moving on again, I think this is also we're all going to agree. Uh, the Dark Knight. Yeah. Yes. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and Batman Begins is actually a really good movie. It's a strong movie. Yeah. That's solid. Uh, yeah. I'm a big fan of Nolan in general. I think all three yeah. of the films are are good. I mean, mm-hmm. are I think they, all two yeah. of those films are good too. Yeah. <laughs> the third one. I mean. Whatever we're on DC again, so let's. let's <laughs> How off. do we always get here? Well, this one's actually like on the list. That's so. fair. Yeah, that's fair. yeah. It's not our fault. We didn't have a but choice. Yeah, that, yeah, Dark Knight definitely was better than than that. And yeah. and then to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. Um, the uh, um, Dark Knight Returns rises. Dark Knight Rises, yeah. Dark Knight Rises is um, I'd watch that before watching any DC movie, mm-hmm. even Man of Steel. Sure. If it if if it meant uh, admitting you were watching a DC movie, yeah, yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to shut that door all to, all together. I mean, oh, maybe man. I don't know. No way, no way would I ever watch Rises over Man of Steel. No way. <laughs> no way what if they cut out the scene where where uh old hank comes out of the ocean with his shirt off well i wouldn't watch cut that out again. yeah and then you're like no it's stupid it's the worst oh, dc movie yeah that, that's what makes that movie yeah Shut your mouth that's where you see a superman 
Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> All right, moving on uh, with number six, Aliens. Over Ooh. Alien. I agree with that. They're, 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 they're as totally good great. or better. Yeah. As good. I, yeah, I would actually say I, I would actually say better in one degree. I think it's it, it's more fun than the first one, but it's also just such a completely different movie. Like the action, the, the second it, one's an action movie. Yeah. The first one's you know a sci-fi thriller. It's a horror. So movie. It, yeah. yeah, but yeah, no, it's for easily equal to. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd say equal to. Yeah, those are both really good. I hope I get those yeah. next. No, you won't. You well, if someone does, I can steal someone. Remember, if they get it, that's oh, right. Get that's that's what you got. That, yeah, that's what you got. So if I, if someone gets something I want, better watch out. I want Alex to get Police Academy next. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> There's like nine of those too. Yeah, I'll, I'll never be done. All right, number seven, Godfather Part Two. And having been, you know, watching this right now and being part of uh, my uh, my franchise, it's hard. That's hard to say because there's aspects of the first one, just so many classic scenes and yeah, you know, just, you know, just the way that the the whole movie flows. And you know, part two is is really good. I mean, it, but there's like we're talking it you can get lost in what is going on and who are certain characters and they're making mention of characters that are like from, you know, like, Oh shit, were they, they're in the first one, but I don't remember who played them, you know, that kind of thing. And, and so it, it, it's a little harder to, to follow, but um, I'd say the only reason why this would be better uh, would be because of De Niro's performances, uh, Vito. I mean, mm-hmm. he did a, a awesome job i'm curious if he i i I don't know if i heard this in an interview or if i just was thinking about this but he speaks so little in his um in his role for this that i wonder if it's just like he just because he didn't want to learn so much italian because (laughs) because it's a lot of uh that's one thing i like about these two is that they you know how authentic they feel as far as you know just the the time frame you know the 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 culture and all that kind of stuff it's just that you know it's good so but what do you guys have you you've all seen godfathers one and two and three yeah it's been a while but yes i've seen all of them yeah yeah i saw them actually all fairly recently and i would say in my opinion the second one is a stronger film yeah longer uh, there's more going on um but god damn is it a good movie no, oh, yeah, and, and it's not like it's a, a mile ahead of the first one it's inches ahead of the first yeah. one but i do think it for me it's a better film okay cool. there you go oh this next one number eight uh, alex I, I i i'm gonna probably put you in who gives a shit category on this one. Oh, uh, thank you but, it, but uh, <laughs> no as far as what i think you'll think on this one oh. uh, how to, how to train your dragon two. Oh god uh yeah i think that i think two is probably better because i i i I always thought you didn't like these because you don't care about the uh the voice actor no no no. it's not that i it's not that i don't like the movies i just think they would be infinitely better if jay baruchel wasn't in them Uh, he's the worst choice for that (laughs) for hiccup i hate his fucking voice really (laughs) yeah i can't stand it and the most the most like egregious thing to me is that egregious yeah is that everybody else that they cast as these vikings in this viking village are like gerard butler and people with like these really epic accents and stuff and then you have fucking jay baruchel over here with his little like nasally whiny annoying ass voice and i understand that it's supposed to lend to the character and like his stature and everything. Yeah. Like that. And it, it works in that sense. And in the first one, it's the most forgivable, but as he ages and gets more badass, quote unquote, like as Hiccup becomes cooler, it yeah. just works less and less and less and less and less like as it goes on. Does it, so do you not like Jay Baruchel in this role? You just, you're just you not a fan of his at all. No, I, I mean, I've seen him in things that I think he's fine in. I like get Letter Kenny. He, I think he's pretty funny. I didn't like his character in Letter Kenny. He was just, no? 
No. Yeah. I, I, yeah. It is hard, right? Jay or whatever, whatever his name was. Yeah. Yeah. Just the times he shows up makes me laugh. Because yeah. of his, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, he was whatever to me in that. I don't know. Maybe I don't like him. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe I'm finding out right now <laughs> that I don't like him. I don't know. But I, I mean, I see, I can't even remember like other, I've seen him in other things and he was, he didn't bother me very much, but I don't know. Hiccup for some reason, it just, just bugs the shit out of me, man. It just doesn't work for me at all. But the second movie hey, I think is better than the first is going back on track. <laughs> have you guys seen these ones? I no. I know I've yeah. seen it, but I have no recollection. So and you know Pete has. Yeah, no, I, 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 movies... I saw I saw it pretty recently. Yeah, Stella <laughs> wanted to watch them. I, I think no, these movies I... are actually they get progressively stronger. I would even say the third one might even be better than the se- I just, I just, They might be about the same two and three, but yeah, I, think I just remember the, the themes of them getting like they had a you know definitely a, a certain message um mm. within there sure that's the way i felt when i was watching it um yeah it's about acceptance essentially yeah so all righty then the kiddos then moving on to number nine. Oh, okay uh the lord of the rings the two towers who better than fellowship or as good it definitely as good, I would say, at the very least. I mean, because all three are pretty strong. It depends on what you're looking for, man. But I think the second is like, better than the third. What? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like Parts they're all just perfectly equal to me. They're all That's true, just huh? great say, in their yeah, own ways. On, yeah. Like Fellowship is that movie where like, it's it great begins. seeing the actual Fellowship together because you basically never do again. Yeah, Mm -hmm. like I love the Hobbiton stuff. Like, but that's you got to be in a certain mood for that. And then Two Towers is dark, like it's Mm -hmm. the darkest for sure. And the battles are great. And then Return of the King is just like scale, just epic scale. Like the whole movie is just Mm -hmm. like everything get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Like they're they're all just amazing in their own ways. I don't know how I could ever say one's better than the other because it really just depends on what mood you're in. I think I probably watched Two Towers the most. Because oh. from an entertainment perspective, I think it just gives you the most of like, there's stuff happening all the time in this movie. Yeah. And it's, so, but I don't know, man. All right. Well, number 10, I, I haven't seen. So I, I, I can't. Uh... No, this is false. I was, re- I saw this in the Why theater. Well, hang on. What's what the, uh, what's the movie? Because I don't have the list up. <laughs> oh, sorry. <Yeah. laughs> sorry, I jumped the gun on that one. I got the list up. So I, I, I'm. <laughs> the listeners also have the list up. Yeah, yeah don't exactly. have the list Number 10 is yeah. Tron Legacy. Oh, yeah. Over who, gives Tron. Sh- who, who gives a shit, basically? Yeah. I actually <laughs> really like Tron Legacy. I really you think like it's Tron as good Legacy or better too. than the first one? No. It's no, a better film David. than the first one. And it's really hard to compare the two. Uh, there's what 25 years between the two or something like that yeah. 30 years there's a the big two. gap vastly like the technology and everything i mean so yes you could definitely argue that tron legacy is better um, but it's a different film tron is great in its own right um, i think this is more of an equal than a greater than situation pete, pete disagrees yeah, I, I I may just have an emotional attachment to Tron that's coloring this for me. I really enjoyed Tron Legacy. It's a much prettier movie because technology evolved obviously in those twenty five years for like the you know what they did with computers and stuff. But I think the first one was so groundbreaking and it was just such a cool fucking movie to watch as a little kid with with everything that it was that I had really high hopes for this one and I felt like the story was very convoluted. Um, the kind of world that they created, even though it was obviously supposed to be, you know, farther along and different, it was just so so vastly different from the way the first world worked that it it just it it didn't quite jive for me the same way. Um, I did I did like it, but I don't I don't think it's equal to or better. And again, that could just be a, a huge emotional attachment I have to the first Tron movies, kind of coloring that. But it's a it's a really cool movie. I think if you, you like Tron, it was a great speed. movie. Yeah, I think that if they'd have come out at the speed, you know, just slightly after Tron, the movie would have sucked. Can yeah. I just can they, I just say had... that that uh, P 
Pete must be really passionate about Tron because I think that was probably the most coherent thing you've ever said on this show was that explanation right there. <laughs> you don't fuck with Tron, man. He just yeah. like, he, he was on another level right there, man. He was going, he was running on all cylinders. I was like, I, Jesus, everyone step yeah. back for a second. <laughs> I did. He's got I, that moment of clarity Tron. from the Mai Tais from earlier. Yeah. <laughs> it's right in between being drunk and hungover. He's got like that. Yeah, group. he's coming down, but he's in the right part of it. <laughs> no, I did. I really, really like Tron. That was, as a kid, that was just one of my favorite movies. It, but, it, and yeah, I think that's what made that movie special is, is what it looked like from a from a child's standpoint. I think if you watch, if you watch Tron for the first time today, oh, yeah. I don't know that it would be that great of a movie. No. Yeah, no, no, I showed I showed that one to my daughters and they they like the second one much better because it just looks so different. It's more of what they're used to in a film. When yeah. this came out, it was still like that, you know, real genesis of of computer graphics being in films and what they did with the light cycles and the discs and all of it, mm-hmm. just the whole world they created was so cool. And it the second one's there it's just much more modern in its take and in its affect and it just it doesn't play as well to me as the first one did because you you kind of you felt like the first one with because of like just the whole digitized world that they did and everything else like it made sense and it worked when you went into the virtual world of tron legacy it was like it, it it was just like this weird futuristic thing that just, just didn't feel Ralph, the same dude. way you just want wreck it ralph <laughs> well he doesn't uh i hope that's on the list it won't be because the second one's not better no the second one's not better <laughs> <laughs> all right number that's 11 that. That, was, that was great it, that was wonderful <laughs> Uh, number 11 <laughs> Captain America the Winter Soldier absolutely yeah there's no doubt yeah yeah, yeah. I, I actually yeah. love the first one but the second one yeah I like the, yeah. 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 yeah the first one's really good say the same thing yeah moving on uh number 12 I have not seen uh 22 Jump Street I good ass. 21 I, I haven't seen either of those one. I've, I've seen, seen 21 I've seen, and I didn't see 22 they're both if 22 is just as good as 21 move on you guys I haven't really seen them, forget like, it. They're... I really like 22. It's not quite as good as 21. 21, I think, has a little bit more uh, rewatchability. I've seen Je that quoi. more times. When I try and watch 22 again, it doesn't it doesn't land as well. So oh, no, see, I can I can I can watch 22 weird. over again just for Ice Cube in the dining hall. That, that Spoilers, whole man. breakfast thing. Spoilers, we haven't seen it. Come on. Yeah. Well, Come on, man. Are you going, going to? Yeah. 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 No, no, I'm never gonna. Okay. So it's it's a second like... a second ago, a second ago you said uh close it moving on, and then so I'm doing that. Um <laughs> now number 13 actually doesn't make sense because all of these have been sequels, like the second one. This one is the third one of this particular franchise, and arguably we're all gonna agree. Uh, it says I didn't give two shits about Thor until Ragnarok. He was such mm. a dull character. He worked fine in Avengers movies, but his own films were meh. Thor Ragnarok is pure entertainment from start to finish. So, I think everyone would agree that Dark World was not better than the first Thor. No, um, right. And, right. But th- the, you know, Ragnarok is pro- is to date the best Thor movie in the franchise. Oh yeah. Yes. I mean, it's yeah, one of sure. the best MCU movies in general. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so it's, uh, it's just weird that they put that in this list. It's not the, you know, I, I, mean, I didn't it's hear a either. Sequel. David, it's a sequel, but it's not the first sequel. Yeah. 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 Oh, here we go. Kevin, I'm sure you'll have an opinion on this one. Number 14, Dr. Sleep. <sighs> no. As good or, or better than The Shining? I don't think so. If, uh, that comes from a Stephen King standpoint more than anything, where Stephen King hated The Shining, the movie. He just did not like what Kubrick did, and it's very different than the book. Dr. Sleep walked a fine line where it was a sequel to the book and the movie. Um, it doesn't and, matter. And, 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 yeah, and it worked. It did both of those very well. Yeah. Uh, but I do not think it was better than The Shining. 
Um, no, I mean, you, you can't compete with The Shining. That That's a hard one. And I can't even say it was as good, but I will say that it was very good film. Yeah, and it was. It was. It, uh, Ewan McGregor was fantastic. Yeah, and It was very um, deserving of being the sequel to The Shining, but it's it's not as good as The Shining. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's better. All righty. Number 15, Catching Fire. Better than The so. Hunger Games? I don't think yeah. so. I don't think so. I think the first one's the strongest for sure of all of those. Yeah. Yeah. I think the first one had the advantage of, of, of building the world and doing that, all that yeah. and making it interesting. And the second one, they had to jump into the story. They skipped a lot of stuff that was in the book and then it was all special effects from there. Yeah. I feel like the second one was basically just the first one again, but on steroids, like say what you will about the third mm-hmm. slash fourth one, at least they were really different. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. but like the second one was really like a retread. I mean, Opie, you can attest, you just watched them. Like, yeah. One and two feel really similar. Yeah. yeah. So that's fine. This one's all Catching Fire, sequel to The Hunger Games, both the book and movie. <laughs> both of them were better. Now, another one, I did not, I did see the first one of these. I did not watch the second, but I have heard that this was better. Paddington 2. Pete, it's can a you lot better. That? Yes, yeah, there you go. it I is. Figured you got that. <laughs> no, All right, moving on. No, we don't need no no anymore. Number Paddington 17. Two though. Paddington Two oh, was like the highest rated no. movie on uh, Rotten Tomatoes when it came out for yeah. like a while. That's it, right. It was, it was like a hundred percent, nine percent on yeah. Rotten Tomatoes or something like it's that. It's really fun. If you yeah. even like, if you like the first one even a little bit, the nope. second one is a better movie. Number seventeen. So, I have a friend, and this is his favorite movie. And so I have only too. seen this one. I've only seen <laughs> Is your friend seven? No. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, He's like, well, when we are on the slides, it's all it is he talks about. 30. <laughs> but it's his favorite movie. Nice. And uh, so we watched it. Is recently. this Pete? Because we know he doesn't watch good <laughs> shit. We watched it recently, and I, I found no value in this film. Yeah. <laughs> so... All right. Can't win them all. Well, number 17, I think, is absolutely false. Um, Back to the Future, part two. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, Yeah, that's not. It's just pure insanity. I enjoy Back to the Future, too, but it's not better than the first one. Yeah. Not even as good or better. No. Mm -mm. And the third one isn't either. All right. Uh, Okay. This will be interesting. Toy Story 2. Nope. As good or better than the first one? No. Nope. In some ways, it is better, but I don't know that it's. I'd say they're equal. I'd say, I'd say equal. three is I'd better. Say. Well, three is yeah, that's on another level. Also, the thing about those movies is the advancements in technology only yeah. lend to the storytelling. So it is mm-hmm. like three cheats a little bit because if you compare three yeah. and one, especially, it's like, what am I watching? Like, yeah, yeah, but. Just the storytelling in one and and two, like there's a lot of really good touching moments in two, like Jesse's backstory, learning yeah. more about Woody's origins. Like they, they're, they're, it's got a lot going for it for yeah, sure. I, I think they're tough. about equal. Yeah. But you got to also remember Toy Story was the first of that kind of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was for sure. For sure. Was, yeah. So, and it's a fantastic uh, right. film, anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, not going from one animated to another, Shrek. Shrek two is definitely better than Shrek one, hands down. Which one was Shrek two? With the one that introduced it was the, the second humans. one. And when they turn no, like <laughs> humans and so and, yeah, it introduces like, Prince Charming. Yeah, no, he's three. No, two is when they go back to they go back to her uh, far, far away. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's right. Prince Charming three, is two because three is the Rumpelstiltskin one. No, okay. four is Rumble still. It's four is still. The which was three. Yeah. Just shows you how forgettable it was. I Two agree. though, I think is very strong compared to one. Yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely they definitely hit their strike because I feel like Shrek wasn't intended to have sequels. You know, yeah, like, I, I doubt it. They wrote. I don't think they wrote it in terms of okay, you know, once this is done, we have the next ones lined up. So I think that's right. when they started expanding the story. So yeah, they could definitely take some you know, uh, some cues from the previous one, what worked, what didn't kind of thing. Yeah. And yeah. they'd really, I agree. Leave- I agree oh. with you. 
they lean into the pop culture references a lot heavier into. Yeah. Um, and they just, they didn't, for me, nothing. I thought the first one was the only good one. From there on out, wow. the, the pop culture references. I know you hate that shit. Are so like current and relevant right then and have no bearing <laughs> uh, ever again. Like the Justin Timberlakes or Justin picture above the bed. Because Cameron Diaz was dating Justin Tim, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Timberlake at the time. Yeah, they just, they, they, they tried to be too current and... It was yeah. funny if you saw it right when it came out, but then from yeah. there on out, it's just crap. I don't know, man. That was I'd my- be curious if you if, to watch them again. Like both, like one, and I wouldn't go past two if I'm being totally honest. Well, I, just, well, are they I, on the list? Because if they're, I believe they are. I, I think I have, I'm pretty sure I have Shrek on here. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I have it on here. If you don't, well, that's that's all nineteen. That that's, oh, that was uh, it. Wow, that was it. That was that was the last one. They they really uh, ramped it up there with Shrek. Yeah, <laughs> way to end. Like I feel yeah. like the end was not strong on that list. <laughs> uh, also, I, I, Superman two, um, I, I think is you know uh, as good or better than Superman. I mean, it's I remember growing up always thinking that Superman two. I like Superman two more than Superman. And I, I in, can't even fathom in a hundred years how Wonder Woman 84 wasn't on that list. Because obviously. Because <laughs> people saw it. And yeah. they knew yeah. it didn't belong on that list. I always right. remembered uh, loving Beverly Hills Cop 2 more than Beverly Hills Cop 1. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I loved Beverly Hills Cop 2. And so then recently I was like, I want to watch the Beverly Hills Cop movies again. So I bought the bundle and uh Ooh. watch the first with one the third one oh i haven't watched it yet i i can't oh. stop after two i watched the first one and then i was excited to show a bunch of people number two who hadn't seen it and uh it was not as good and i was very <laughs> with my younger self because oh no uh, yeah it didn't it did not hold up as well the first have one you watched the third one <laughs> i did see it like when it came out originally oh god so long ago and it takes place at great america oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! That's a, that's a clear win. Yeah, they filmed it at Great America. Oh yeah. my god! Like it's not. It, it's, it's it's so fucking bad. Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah. uh, so bad. Um, what about Die Hard Two? Too. Die Hard Two over no. Die Hard One? No, no. way! No. No. Die Hard Two is good, but to, like it's not, not Die Hard. Die Hard not, not even Die close to being as good is, as is the best by far. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, Die Hard 2. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Die Hard 3 is better than Die Hard 2, in my opinion. What about the that's, what a Sam Jackson, that's a Sam yeah, Jackson, Sam one, Jackson right? one. Yeah. 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 I like 3 over 2, and then 4, if you've got to absolutely watch it, and then 5, just please, dear God. I, I never finished 5. I saw the first 5 minutes and stopped. Oh, but oh four, is that the one with his kid? I, uh, yes. Yeah. With Sam Worthington. Yeah. Uh, the, the fourth one, I... I don't know. I, I I can watch that. I like Justin Long. I like. It's I like, fine. It's watchable. It's not it, good. It's a, yeah, it's not good. It's entertaining. Yeah, but um, yeah. but yeah, I agree. But no, like Die Hard Five is nearly Crystal Skull level of cringeworthy. Yeah, yeah. Something else that That's, I'd yeah, probably put on that list that I don't think it's better, but I do think it's as good. And I was surprised that I thought that is Monsters University to Monsters Inc. I it was it was good. surprisingly as good. I did yeah. not think that it would be. I thought it was like a cash grab sequel thing, like the Cars movies, but it was it was really I, enjoyable. I thought it was I really fun. See that? Yeah, no, it was fun. It was nice getting like that total backstory yeah. on those characters. It, it like, and it, all the jokes worked. Oh yeah, and I, like, I think it, the whole movie. It was smart, like in a way that like in one they already have a solution to screams, which is laughter. So it's like, how do you go back and still make it interesting? And I think that they did. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was uh, really strong. And I, I've watched it a couple of times. And the second time I watched it, I picked up even more and thought like even more highly of it. So I think that would probably deserve to be on that list. But that's just me. There's another one that they missed on the list. And that was American Pie 2, clearly, according to... Obviously. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what about Deadpool 2? Ooh, I don't I, think it's I like as good a, as one, but I do like it. 
there's aspects I there's aspects of it that I like more than one only because again same ideas where they okay one was so successful they know what they can kind of do with this mm-hmm. but um and so I, there's aspects I like about it but yeah there's then at the same time there's lots of aspects on the first one that I like so yeah it'd I be think, hard hard to determine yeah like if you had if you like we're like you have to watch one of these right now. I think I'd pick one every time. The only, the, the, I would only, the reason I would pick two is oh. because of X Force. Yeah, that whole sequence that's with the strongest. X-Force. Yeah. That's the strongest. Yeah. That's the for best sure. part of the whole of like it's like that's just great. Just everything about that forming X Force and everything that happens yeah. with that just hilarious. Yeah, that whole thing. I love the fact that he also played Juggernaut though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juggernaut is pretty cool. Well, that's I mean, look at Star Trek. Wrath of Khan is way better than Star Trek the Motion Picture. Well, yeah, yeah, that's not fair because Star Trek the Motion Picture was a shit show. Yeah, it's like fifteen minute show- montage. Of As they say, ship. I showed the ship flying through space for forty eight percent of the movie. It's not even flying through space; it's <laughs> them flying up to the ship, uh, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like in space where they're just like, mm, you know. <laughs> All so right. Well, I think uh, I think I think we got through every sequel that was better than the original. I think we're done. I think. In the world, ever. Yeah, there's no other ones. Ever. Um, Bumblebee to all the other Transformers movies. There you go. That's another (laughs) one. Fair. Well, okay. So, well, so I went to the original Reddit thread that they pulled this off of. (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) If you're trying to end, then I mean, we'll end it. But I did find a couple that they left off. I think he's going to end his life in a minute. (laughs) How did I leave them off? There is on the, the top nine. He's recording in the garage. You hear him go start his car. And well, no, like this, this is an issue. <laughs> Do you think um, Temple of Doom is better than the original than Raiders? No, 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 no. no. I thought of that. I didn't mention it because I thought it was ludicrous. <laughs> I would last, argue, last Crusade. You, you could, could say. make an argument for Last, last Crusade. Yeah, as good as. As good as I would say, as good as for sure. Wait, wait, wait. which last crusade? As good as Raiders. As, uh, yeah. yeah, Raiders. Yeah, I mean, I like Temple of Doom, but it, uh, but yeah, it's not as good or better. No. Jaws to the that that's as good or as better as Jaws. <laughs> Are we done naming off the? Or is there another one on there that is ridiculous? Are the Sharknados on there? No, I mean, yeah, I would see them all. Yeah. Army there. of Darkness. I don't know. Uh, you know, better than no, any of the Evil Dead. No. You might be able to argue that Evil Dead Two is better than Evil Dead One, but because it is a better movie. Yeah. But for nostalgia reasons, Evil Dead is better. I haven't seen them. You haven't seen them? Is that on no. the list? Please tell me Evil Dead is on the list. No. How many are there? Three. Well, there's three, okay. if, and then if you count the re- the newest remake. I, I don't think we're counting remakes technically. Like I didn't have to watch the the Nightmare remake because it's like not part of the canon. Yeah, yeah. There's three. There's Evil Dead, and then Evil Dead Two, Evil Dead 2. is essentially just Evil, Evil Dead. Dead One <laughs> with with more, a budget, with a budget. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And well, then ne- Army next- of Darkness, which is an entirely different movie from the <laughs> other two all yeah, together. Next time you spin, you can add one to the wheel. So remember to do that. Yeah, Army of Darkness is a is a good choice. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for listening. Thanks for downloading. This is our show. Jesus. This is, uh, <laughs> every week, I'm like, I can get down to an hour and a half, hour forty five. No, uh, like no. We Austin cannot. Powers Spy Who Shagged Me was that? Better God than damn it! Stop it, Pete. Pete <laughs> we're done. No, no, it wasn't better. Than the, than the sequel. Uh, than the I'd say one. as good as. I would say uh, as good as. Battle of the Smithsonian, better than the first um, Night at the Museum. Uh, what? Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian. No. Was it better I, than I, the first I, I don't pass. know. Yeah, pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just end it. I'm just being a prick now. I, I'm trying to. But you, <laughs> I can't mute your fucking mic. Just do it. Do it while you have permission. Just end it while you have his permission. The, the, uh, 
there's you know news again of, of the petition to redo season eight of oh, Game God. of Thrones yes, because of the ten year anniversary. Oh. God. There's there's no way there is no way they could redo that. They, they should do the Snyder won't. cut. They won't. You just have Snyder recut the whole season. <laughs> a lot of slow mo, like the Winterfell yeah. battle is like six episodes long. Yeah, he's like, you wanted, you, wanted a full, again. you wanted a full season. I just there slowed is. everything down, and yeah. now it's ten episodes worth. And they're singing and the same Little did you think it was possible. It's actually darker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually, is. I went back and watched just that episode the other day. I just had a, a craving to watch the the even just the end of it, and. It's on a second watch. I feel like they should have ended the show there. Just added another, like, There's so hour many things left and just be done. No, but I'm saying, like, ended it there. Like, just branch off from there for just, like, another hour and then be done. Like, wrap it up in a completely different way. And I think it would have just felt cleaner to me. So wrap it up even faster than they did. Yes. <laughs> mm. You're drunk, bro. Start the show, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> still want uh, Bran. He's like, I made a movie, you guys. I made yeah. a movie. Do you remember the uh, Game of Thrones when Bran fell out the window? They should have ended the show there. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the end of the show, him waking up <laughs> on the ground. Just been all, all a dream while he was him. Like, wow, animal. okay. I have so many questions. Well, here's here's what happens. Yeah. Yeah. You, just, you just recite the rest of the series. Like, that all happened? Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to see it, but that's what happens. <laughs>